Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. The other day, I had a client stand up in the middle of a room. We were in a conference room, just the two of us, and I, I had them stand up and point at the corner of the room and shout fire over and over at the top of their lungs. And over and over, not like for three minutes or anything, but I just had them do that. Um, and, and out of context, this seems crazy. But what was happening is this client, as they were communicating all of their problems, and they were, they were stuck. And one of the things that coaching aims to do is to sh help shift people's perspectives from problem orientation to solution orientation. And so I, I, instead of giving this person the answer, I asked them, I said, you know what, stand up, let's pretend there's a fire in the corner, point at that corner and say, fire, 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 fire. And then I asked them, why do you think I asked you to do that? And they, they said, well, if there was really a fire in that corner, I would not just be pointing at it and talking about it. I wouldn't be complaining about it. I would, I would try to figure out ways to put that fire out. And I, you know, I didn't have a bell, but if I did, I would have rang it. Ding, 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 ding. That's the point. So I said, now with the problems you've been bringing forward, what are some solutions? Instead of pointing at them and complaining about them, where is the water that you might grab to put them out? What are some action steps to, for us to clear this room in, the, in this real life problem that you have. And, and we, we don't have it all figured out by any means, but they explored some solutions and they're taking action on those solutions. And I tell you that story not to brag about helping somebody learn how to put out the fires in their lives. I tell you that story because in our faith, it shows up just a little bit differently. In our faith, it shows up as fear versus love. It's not necessarily problem versus solution, but fear versus love. And Hannah Brencher in her book, Come Matter Here, uh, points out this unique spot in the Bible in Mark 6. There's this really interesting juxtaposition between two stories in Mark 6. The first one is John the Baptist and him being beheaded. And it's pretty grim. She even jokingly says it, it goes from like Game of Thrones to like this awesome, exciting Disney ending with the next story is Jesus feeding the 5,000. And so you have this really weird, kind of clunky transition. It's like a DJ playing a hip hop song right into a slow song with no transition. It just feels jolting. And, and she said, she's been wrestling with it and she was talking to a couple of friends and one of her friends said, that's not, that's not an accident. That's very much on purpose. She said, one is fear and one is love. And she said that if we live our lives in fear, bad things happen. She said, you know, in that story, obviously John the Baptist lost his, his physical head, but in our lives, if we live based on fear, we lose our heads and, and, and it hurts us and it hurts everyone around us. When we make decisions based on fear, it leads us astray. But the next story is one of so much abundance that we can't, we almost can't even believe that it happened. It, it, it seems so unreal that Jesus was able to feed 5,000. And Hannah points out that at the end of that story, it even says that the disciples walked around and gathered baskets that still had bread and fish in them. There were leftovers. So when we live out of love, there's this sense of abundance. And instead of it being problem versus solution, it's fear versus love. And I bring this up because I think that we need to kind of challenge ourselves if we want more meaning out of this life, if we want this life to matter, instead of just waiting for someday for it to all of a sudden matter, uh, it, it come heaven time, right? Like how do we make this life matter? I think we need to really challenge ourselves to get out of decisions and, and seeing this world based on fear and scarcity and start seeing it much more the way that Jesus came here to show us, live out of love and abundance instead. See, sometimes in our faith, the reason I connected this to faith is that I think that we spend a lot of our time in our faith thinking about uh, seeing this world as needing less bad instead of seeing more good. And as we make decisions for our families, as we vote, as we do all of these things in this life, when we bring our faith to the table and we let fear lead where we want less bad because there's there's a scarcity idea or, or we need to protect ourselves or whatever it is, it usually leads down that road of, of us losing kind of who we are and, and potentially losing our heads, metaphorically speaking, obviously. But if we see it more as abundance and, and there, there's more to go around and, and we live out of love instead, when we 
when we see people on the street, when we see our families, when we go to work, when we make decisions for uh, on behalf of others, if we live out of love, then we experience this abundance. And you know what? There is room for more. There is leftovers. And Hannah kind of asked the question, okay, great, I get this concept, but how? How would we do that? And she introduces this concept of, uh, of breath prayers, things that we might say under our breath as we walk around so that we could capture these moments of fear and replace them with this idea of abundance and love. Um, and, and I read about this a long time ago, uh, that, that the word Yahweh was actually kind of like breath when you would say it. It was like Yahweh. And you could literally breathe in Jesus and breathe out Jesus. And if we do that more often, we will live in a space of, of love more than a space of fear. We will have more good rather than just less bad. And so I would challenge us in our faith this week to think of these little things in our lives that we could pray under our breath when we feel fear creep in, when we feel scarcity creep in, when we get fixated on the problem, that we would pray positive things, little tiny things like, God, please come show up and be less about me and more about you. And that points us to kind of the verse that I want to leave you with. It's John 3.30. Uh, where, where John uh, is saying, you know, we need to decide that there's less of me and more of you. And when I do that, I give up on this idea of fear and protecting and I let you reign and, and, and be the truth, which is more love and more abundance. So this week in your faith, practice praying those, those abundant prayers of God, more of you and less of me. And say those under your breath when you feel that fear creeping in. And when you do so, not only will you experience more meaning, this world will be better for it and they will experience a relationally loving God as a result. Thanks for watching Faith in Five. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.